Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and right now it's time for me to announce the start of my next multi-video project, and it's going to be Lucio's sonic amplifier gun from the game Overwatch. I'm pretty excited. I'm going to tell you about it in just a second. So let's do this. Are you ready? Go. Ah, uh, welcome back. Like I said, I'm going to start this project where over multiple videos, I'm going to print and sand and put together and finish Lucio's Sonic Amplifier. Lucio, of course, the character from the game Overwatch. There's going to be two versions that I'm going to print. One is two pieces that I can just put together with a solid block in the middle to align them. I'm going to print that on my GMAX printer all in one go. The second gun I'm going to print is the multi-piece model that's been sized specifically for this Ultimaker 2. And Matter Hackers is sponsoring that build by providing me their Pro Series Natural PLA for me to print that gun out with. All right, let's start at the beginning. My buddy Simone modeled this gun and provided me the package that had all the files in it I needed to print it. The first one I'm printing is gonna be on my GMAX printer. It's it's part of this smaller gun that he had in two pieces. And what I did is I sized up each piece to 350% scale, and then I set them to go on my GMAX printer. I did the first piece, which was estimated to take, I was gonna say, 100 hours to print. It ended up taking 85 hours to print, and I just kept checking it, and I kept watching it, and I kept looking at it, and I tweeted pictures to my friends, and sure enough, it looks like this. Yeah, look at this, this is the GMAX version of one part of the sonic amplifier for Lucio in the game Overwatch. It's missing this piece right here and that's actually printing on the GMAX right now. But what's really cool about this is it was all in one piece. I did have to do a filament change right here. The gray stuff is actually an old Matter Hackers non-pro PLA roll I found laying around. And the blue is a roll of Makeshaper PLA filament that I found. It actually turned out really good, and using the GMAX printer, I was able to change the filament midway when my Matter Hackers roll was running out. But, oh, look at that. That is cool. When you look at the pictures of this gun on the build plate on the, on the GMAX printer, of course, the GMAX is huge, and it has a 16 inch by 16 inch build plate. And if you look at the supports, they look like this. They don't look like standard supports that you usually see with Simplify 3D. It's not these lines that just crisscross back and forth. Here's what makes these special. I remember Angus over at Maker's Muse mentioning that he was going to do hopefully a video on, these, on this style of support. And what you do in Simplify 3D is the support angle, it's usually at zero. If you add 45 and minus 45, then it creates alternating crisscross patterns and you get this inc incredibly strong support material that can survive going 14, 15 inches high on a moving build plate. And so that's why they look like that and that's why you saw them on the picture going so tall successfully. Right now, like I said, the other piece of this one is finishing on the GMAX printer right now and then I'll be able to put a connecting block in between. I'll be able to epoxy them together and then I'll have a full-on sonic amplifier. And this is just freaking awesome. Oh, I love this. Now that I've mentioned and talked about this one piece, Sonic Amplifier, it's time to talk about the multi-piece one because it's even bigger than this one. These pieces right here are all printed on this Ultimaker and the pieces came out incredibly well. These are, well, <laughs> these are printed in Pro PLA and it's the natural, so it's not colored. It has no dyes in it. This is just what the, the plastic looks like. There we go. That's all of them. Just like the one piece model, all of these pieces were sliced in Simplify 3D. They were sliced at a 0.2 millimeter layer height. They were sliced at 10% infill and supports were enabled and rafts were enabled in situations where I thought I needed some extra build plate adhesion. But here's the interesting part. If you look at this sonic amplifier and you match up where pieces go, you're going to see that this gun is bigger. This gun is slightly bigger than this gun. Plus it's all going to be one color and it's, it's pretty exciting. Um, what's interesting about this one is I will get to learn how to assemble the pieces, how to fill in the gaps, how to sand it down, how to adhere it all together. 
and I'm also looking for ways on how I can best finish this. Furthermore, all of these Matter Hackers PLA pieces were filmed at the time lapse. So as I put these together, I'll have the time lapse available so you can see how it printed. And it was over 100 hours of printing these pieces. And I used 2.1-ish rolls of filament. <laughs> this is gonna be epic. And finally, this is gonna be a bit of a collaboration here. I've got two people I'm going to be working with. The first is Johnny Cruz. Johnny Cruz is the man behind the voice of Lucio on the game. I contacted him over Twitter and he agreed he'd be able to lend his voice and possibly a little bit of video to this build and creation series. So I'm really excited for that. The other person that I'm going to be collaborating with, hopefully, is Bill Duran of Punish Props. Bill is a master prop builder and he knows how to finish models like crazy. In fact, in fact, let me give him a call. Hey, Bill. Hey. Will you help yeah. me airbrush this Lucio gun? No, yeah, that sounds really fun. That'd be a cool, uh, cool project. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate it. All right, cool. We'll see you later. All right, well, hey, right. see you later. High five. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. High five. Yep. No. I'm high five in the air. Bill, I want to hear it. Yeah. No, okay. I'll do. Yep. Yeah, right? There, there it go. is. Oh, high five. Thanks, Bill. All right, all right. All right. See you later. All right, cool. Bye. Bye. Sweet! Bill's on board, officially. All right, this is getting really good. I've got Johnny Cruz lending his voice, possibly some video. I've got Bill Duran of Punish Props actually helping me finish this thing. I'm gonna have two sonic amplifiers, you guys. This is amazing! All right, well, you know, a big thanks to Johnny Cruz for offering his voice and possibly some video. A big thanks to Bill Duran, who's gonna help me finish these and teach me how to airbrush these things. A huge thanks to Matter Hackers for supplying the Ultimaker 2 Plus and all of the filament for this project. If you want to get yourself an Ultimaker 2 2 Plus and some awesome filament, there are links down in the description. All right, hey, like this, leave a comment if you have a comment. A big thanks to my patrons who support me at patreon.com. And shoot, I'm really excited about this. I can't wait to show you finished guns. Don't forget to hug each other more often. I love you guys. As always, high five.